Okay, I bought this um, little chalkboard for about three dollars, two ninety nine, and I'm just going to paint around the chalkboard. Yep. I'm going to use this painter's tape. And I'm going to tape the inside of the paint of the chalkboard. What I did here is put green paper in the middle of the chalkboard so I wouldn't have to do so much of the, uh, the blue tape. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment I would appreciate it so um, I got the paper on here and I'm getting ready to paint now all the prep work is done and this chalkboard is for my sewing room I am redecorating and trying to make it nice Okay, trial and error. What I should have did first on this is paint it with white paint first and then for my base color and then painted it with a um, metallic bright Rust-Oleum. Because if you can see, you can see kind of like the wood, it's not, it's, the wood is coming up through the paint. What I'm going to try to do is paint it many times. But if you can see, you can still see those lines like it's, wait, hold on. You can still see the wood lines. But I probably should have painted it white with the base coat first. What I should have did is painted it with this, with this primer, with this paint primer by Krylon White first, and then painted it with the Rust-Oleum, the bright metallic finish. But I did the metallic finish first, and this is my result. Okay, this is how it looks, all painted. I just continued to use the Rust-Oleum metallic finish. I'm not sure if I want another coat on it, but I'm going to let it dry. And we'll see. I took all the tape off and if you can see right here in this spot where paint got on it, I should have just put painter's tape across the whole, the whole picture frame, but I didn't so it turned out to have this little spot on it so what I'm going to do to try to get that off is I'm going to take a little bit of this extra strength polish remover 
and see if it'll get it off. We'll see. Okay, I put a little bit of this fingernail polish on this towel and I'm just kind of wipe it off. Uh, it doesn't look like it's coming off. Nope. It's not. It's not coming off. Wait a minute. It looks like it is a little bit. I just had to put a little bit of elbow grease, a little elbow into it. Okay, it looked like it came off a little bit. It did. What do you think? Yes, no. No. You think it did? No. I think it did. I took the other side of the towel and I'm just kind of drying it up. But I think it worked. Yes, it did. There we go. Okay, this is how my thread holder look. And this is how it looks after. I painted it with a, a chalky finish. A misty gray crayon or is it Krylon and this how it looks after I painted it now I'm gonna paint this one and I also have a little one and they're by June Taylor but I'm gonna tape over that or paint over that and I got these from Walmart way a long time ago I had them for about maybe 10 to 15 years maybe more at Walmart